so happy, I'm so excited. I'm essentially paying the same price for twice the amount of square footage, which is very exciting. This is a new build, and new builds in the Netherlands usually means that you have to put in your own doors, put in your own lights, and paint your own walls. So as exciting as everything is, and I'm so very grateful, and I, you know, I am very excited. Um, I know that this week is gonna come with a lot, a lot, a lot of work. I'm taking three days off of work. We do get two days off by law, I think, in the Netherlands to move households. So I'm taking two days, taking those two days off, and then I'm taking one of just my annual leaves. So it's gonna be a lot of hard manual labor this coming week, I guess. But I'm super excited. I've never done this before. I've never put in my own floors. I've never, I've, I've helped people paint their walls, but I've never done it in my own place. So it's all very exciting to me. I will obviously preface this by saying that I have help from friends. So big shout out to everyone that's helping on this because it is so expensive to hire things out. I was like, I was putting in requests for pricing for paint jobs and the cheapest I could find was like 1200 and that too was a friend of mine <laughs> that offered that price. Other prices were like 2.5k, 3k. Because if you buy your own painting supplies, depending on what brand, oh my arm. <laughs> okay. Oh. Depending on what brand, you only pay a few hundred. It could go from like 200 with primer, from like 200 to let's say 500, I don't know. With the supplies, maybe another 50 or 50 to 100. So charging me 3k just doesn't add up. So as you walk in, you get the room for it. This is the boring grown-up stuff, I guess. Oop. Okay, I have to put the key in as a doorknob. That makes no sense. Anyways, electricity. This, I believe, was heating, I think. And then I have a little, tiny little laundry room that can connect to the washing machine. And this is the, I guess, like, the motherboard of the floor heating. We have underfloor heating. Um, and then, yeah, this is the main room. So kitchen slash dining slash living area. I do have, this is the balcony. It's actually quite a nice size. Oh, there's a little rainbow. We have a building right next to us, so it is quite a view of solar panels. Kitchen comes with a microwave oven combo, a dishwasher. I'm so glad it comes with a dishwasher because my old place had one and I know that that was sort of a blessing. Um, then we have, we have one of these separated toilets. It's actually quite spacious for one of these single ones because I've been to a lot of my friends single toilets that like just don't have enough space around the toilet so like you bump your arms and your legs on the walls and stuff and this is for the ventilation so this connects to the kitchen what do you call it Oof, I'm so dusty the kitchen thingy where the the hoop you know where it sucks up all the steam from cooking and then it also connects to the vent here. And then, yeah, this is a bedroom. I was like in my head, well, when I saw the blueprint, it wasn't very, it wasn't a detailed blueprint, let's just say that. But I was imagining that there could be like a big Pax Ikea wardrobe unit here, but then all of this is on this side, all of this which obviously cannot be covered, so... Paid 
I'm back at the apartment. It's raining, but you know what? I'm actually kind of glad that it is because last week there was a heat wave. I don't know how I would deal with painting walls, putting in floors in like 33 degree weather. I made a little tape dispenser <laughs> from the window knob. Kitchen counter is being tarped. Is that the word, tarped? I don't know. Day two, and we've tried to go to Praxis, Hama, Blocker, everything, all of the above. Nothing has what we're selling, so we got a car. I'm gonna go to the Praxis that's like not in town. Say again. We've decided to just climb up to 12 because now the elevators have stopped working. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling? Oh, nice food. Good. <laughs> we good? We didn't go to the gym today. No, <laughs> this is no, the gym. Oh, God. Alright. Hello. I think this, the best way is to not watch, like, look at the numbers. Yeah, just keep going. Just keep going. And then once you're on the 12, I just you're just gonna feel it. <laughs> Hi, I'd like to return um, something I rented. Can I do that here? I'd like to return a drill that I rented. Can I do that here? Yeah. Okay. It's day day five of the move. Um, to be honest, there's been a lot going on and I've had like 25 different mental breakdowns and I've cried 17 billion different times. So I haven't been vlogging much. Monday, I spent about four hours taping, um, you know, with masking tape, everything, like window frames, uh, power outlets, all that, so I could paint or I could start priming the next day. And I was almost done. Um, and I left, and then Tuesday, and I'm gonna have another mental breakdown. So let me try that again. After I started taping for about four to five hours, I went back home to Appledorn, to Kevin's mom's house. Um, had to sleep there, and then worked on Tuesday in The Hague at a cafe. Um, my friend Fabo then came to help put in all the lights so that I could work at night. But when he came, when we got to the apartment after work at around 5 p.m., the fire alarm went off and we were forced to go downstairs. 
And at that point, we're like, all right, let's go to Praxis to see if we need anything else, because um, we did. And then it was still going off when we got back, so we went to McDonald's and had dinner there. And then we came back and the team said, look, there's no fire, but the elevators have shut off because the fire alarm. So you just, you can go upstairs, but you have to go use the stairs. So we did that. We got up here and realized that we then had the wrong drill. So we couldn't do much. We couldn't do anything about the lights that night. And Fabo came all the way from Amsterdam, so I felt really bad about that. The tape that I had used, <clears throat> the tape that I had used on Monday all peeled off because I didn't use a good tape. So I don't want to be too hard on myself. But it was five hours down the drain. I had to redo everything. But obviously when Fabo was here, I was also helping him because he was on the ladder and I'm like passing things back and forth. I got a little bit done, but nowhere near as much as I would like. So Wednesday I worked half day and got back here and started taping everything up again and started priming. But I started priming at night. So I come back today. Today is Friday. I come back and I see that I didn't prime to the best of my abilities because it was already dark. So I'm gonna have to redo that. Um, today Vidushi is gonna help. Yesterday I was alone, but I kind of wanted to be alone because it's been very stressful. And as much as I love help, I also am an introvert by nature. So having people around me all the time is also very stressful. And I appreciate all the help that I'm getting from my friends. So today Vidushi is helping me prime and maybe paint the walls, but definitely prime all the walls. And yeah, that's just the reality of um, moving, especially to an apartment where you have to do all this shit yourself, which is very Dutch. Um, just fair warning for people who want to move here. Not all apartments are like this, but it's very common and no one will question if like, you say, oh, I have to put my own floors in. No one bats an eye because that's also very normal. Um, again, it's a new build, but they're just giving an empty shell, essentially. But yeah, please continue watching. Um, I'm showing you the realities of moving. It's not all fun and glamorous. I don't even have much furniture anyway, so I don't know. I don't know what, I, what, what my point was there, but let's go. Let's change. Also, the lights are in. Ta-da! We have one and then we have two. break it's actually i think 4 p.m now so very lunch late lunch but this is what time i've been eating lately anyway during all of this i got um a mixed grill on rice and a salad and a well this all came in one dish i guess this for me is enough for like lunch and dinner so that's good <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna eat this and enjoy it on the very sunny terrace <laughs> 